In today's demo class, I chose this chapter surface area and volume. But before moving towards this chapter, first we must understand what is the concept behind surface area and volume, right? So surface area and volume help us measure the three-dimensional geometrical shape, or we can call it as 3D shape, like cube, cuboid, cone, cylinder, and so on. Now let us understand this topic by some instance. Suppose I have this cylindrical shape. Here I will assume this as a box. Suppose you have to wrap it with a beautiful paper for a birthday party. So what will happen? You will take only the outer boundaries, right? So it is nothing but surface area. So surface area is equal to outer boundaries covered by the shape. So in surface area, we calculate only the outer boundaries of shape. Now next comes to the volume. Suppose here I have taken the same cylindrical shape, but here I will assume this as a glass. I filled this glass with water and I filled it up to the brim. So here what I can say, I will say volume of this shape volume of this class is equal to the amount of water inside it. So as a conclusion, we got two things here. We can say surface area is equal to the outer boundaries covered by the shape, but volume is equal to the space inside the shape. Correct? So now let us understand this topic even more clear. I picked a question for you, but before this, first we will look into this four formulas which we are going to use further. So these four formula is based on surface area and volume only. So these two formula is for shape cube. So in case of cube, surface area is equal to 6x square where x is the age of cube. As we know, in cube all ages are equal. And volume of cube is equal to x cube. Now, in case of cuboid, surface area of cuboid is equal to 2 in bracket LP plus CH plus HL, where L is length, P is breadth, and H is height of the cuboid. Volume of cuboid is equal to LBH. Now, come to the question. And the question is, two cubes, each of the volume 64 centimeter cube, are joined end to end find the surface area of resulting cuboid. So what the data we have here, what we'll do first we will calculate the edges of this cube. As here 64 centimeter cube volume is given. So what we will do, we, we will assume here, let the length of each edge of the cube is x centimeter and volume is 64 centimeter cube which is given. Then as per the formula x cube is equal to 64 centimeter cube uh, and x equal to 4 centimeter. As you can see here why I wrote this x cube is equal to 64 because by the formula we know volume of cube is equal to 6 x cube and 64 volume is given in the question. So we will make this equal. So x cube is equal to 64. When you will take out the factor of 64, you will get 4 cross 4 cross 4. It will make a pair of 3 and 4 will come. Uh, it will make a pair of 3 and this 4 will come out. So x equal to 4 centimeters. So now we got the answer that age of each uh, age of this cube will be equal to the 4. LBH is equal to 4. Now further it's given then when these two cube are joined together end to end then it form a cuboid. So as you can see here these are two cubes. If these will come and join then this H will remain same. B also will remain same. What dimension will change here? Only this one. This length will change. 
so as in question given then these two cubes join and form the cuboid so dimension of this l will become changed and rest two will untouched so now come to the solution how we will solve it so first we will route write how the dimension has changed of this cuboid so we will write the dimension of the cuboid after joining two cubes so form r l is equal to 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 cm b and h remain same which is 4 cm so now in cuboid we are knowing all the edges and we know what is the formula for surface area of cuboid surface area of cuboid is equal to 2 within bracket lb plus bh plus lh where l is length b is breadth and h is height now we will put all the values in this given formula it will become 2 in bracket 8 cross 4 plus 4 Plus four plus uh, eight into four, correct? So it will become two within bracket eight cross four plus four cross four plus eight cross four. Now we put all the values in the given formula of LBH. Now we'll calculate this. So it will become two in bracket thirty-two plus sixteen plus thirty-two. Next comes we'll add. All the values inside the bracket, it comes two into eighty. When we we'll multiply two multiplied by eighty, we'll get the answer one sixty. Surface area of cuboid is equal to one sixty, and hence this is the answer. Because this is surface area, and surface a unit of surface area is sixty centimeter square, so. Surface area of cuboid is equal to 160 centimeters square. This will be the answer. So I hope you understood this concept very clear. So thank you so much.